Hello friends and welcome to AK Agrawal Aptitude Series. Friends, in this session we are going to learn a technique for solving a problem on probability. Here the given problem is 6 persons are seated in a row. Probability that 2 particular persons A and B are seated at the ends is. 6 persons are seated in a row. What is the probability that A and B are at either of the ends? A and B are at the ends four options are given so friends there are six persons so total number of possible events because six persons can be seated in factorial six ways factorial six means six into five into four into three into two into one minus one minus one minus one so factorial six means six to one multiply all six five four three two one this is the total possible events or total possible ways in which six persons can be seated in a row. Now let us see in our favor how many events are there. What we want two persons A and B must sit at the ends. So two persons A and B can sit at the ends is factorial two ways. A will be on the left side, B will be on the right side or B will be on the left side, A will be on the right side. So this can uh, we d with this we can determine using factorial 2 means 2 into 1 is equal to 2 ways now remaining 4 persons are left between A and B so when A is at on one end B is at another end these 4 can sit in factorial 4 ways remaining 4 persons can be seated in factorial 4 ways that is equal to fact 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 now as we know probability is given by so total number of favorable events we can say factorial 2 into factorial 4 because A and B can sit in factorial 2 ways and remaining 4 person can be seated in factorial 4 ways. So total number of favorable events is equal to factorial 2 into factorial 4. We know probability is given by total number of favorable events divided by total possible events. So this will be given by factorial 2 into factorial 4 means number of favorable events divided by total number of possible events that is factorial 6 if we further expand it factorial 2 is 2 into 1 already we have written here factorial 4 means 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 divided by factorial 6 means 6 5 4 3 into 2 into 1 now let us simplify this all these are cancelled so this is equal to 1 upon 15 so answer is a 1 upon 15 friends let us solve one more problem of similar type here the problem is seven persons a b c d e f and g are seated in a row probability that a is always at the center seat is here seven persons are there what we want a must always be at the center so what will be the probability so friends to answer this question first let us determine total possible events means seven persons can be seated in how many different ways in a row that is equal to factorial seven factorial seven means seven into six into five into four into three into two into one now what we want a must be at the center seat means a is at the center seat in how many ways a can sit one seat one person so he can sit only in one way but remaining six can be seated in different position so remaining six persons can be seated in factorial six ways that is six into five into four into three into two into one now total number of favorable events is equal to one into factorial 6 these are the favorable and these are the possible events so required probability is equal to total number of favorable events that is 1 into factorial 6 divided by total number of possible events factorial 7 this is equal to 1 into factorial 6 means 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 divided by factorial 7 means 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 this is equal to 1 by 7 so friends this is the answer 1 by 7 friends thank you very much for watching this video you can also follow me on facebook